and they're going to change. Now, do you find yourself to be that same sweet, loving, sexy woman that, that, that I first met a few years ago when we were at least 20 pounds lighter? <laughs> yes, right? I'm still, I don't think I change in that way. <laughs> So right now I'm up here in the Aliente area. You know, one of my favorite neighborhoods here in Las Vegas. Um, I'm on Moonlight Falls Avenue right now. And I'm gonna be headed down to the 215 because I have to head over to the Lone Mountain area. My part of town, I got two more visits. But anyway, today's video, you know, what we're really gonna be talking about you know, I have a few fellas who's been messaging me, asking me, you know, did my wife change when she first came to America? Well, you know, I gotta tell you guys, man, I think the only person who can really answer that question, that would definitely be my wife. So I think I'm gonna really have her talk about any type of changes she has made since she came to America a few years ago. You know, I know a lot of guys are kind of scared about bringing their woman here from the Philippines to America. You know, I hear a lot of guys complain saying, you know, these women, they get too westernized for me. They'll become just like the American females. And I gotta tell a lot of you fellas, man, I think a lot of you guys are wrong really thinking that way. You know, I know you guys, you know, listen to a lot of these other YouTubers who who don't feel confident in themselves for bringing their ladies here to America thinking that that lady's gonna change and she's not gonna be the woman that they probably thought she was when she was back home in the Philippines okay hey how you doing everyone hopefully everybody's having a good day smoothly here in the family you want to say anything to the lovely folks babe say hi and peace, peace peace on out man peace on out <laughs> how you doing babe anything you want to say to these lovely folks here thank you everyone for your support thank you for watching our videos and just continue supporting our channel thank you and you know like i said earlier in the car when i was driving going about my business you know, I said, I've been getting a few messages from a few people asking me um, if my wife had changed since she, since she came to the Philippines, since she came to America from the Philippines. And I really cannot answer that question for her, you know, because, you know, I'm I'm not from the Philippines. Yeah. Yes, baby love, you, <laughs> you're, you're born right here in, in America, okay? Your mom is a foreigner and so is daddy. But she's gonna learn Filipino <laughs> culture. And you're going to learn the Caribbean culture, too, along with your American <laughs> ways. But anyway, um, my, my main question I wanted to ask you. Yes, baby love. Yes, baby love. Okay? All right. You're on that point. That is going to go ahead and put you down, okay? Okay. There you go. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So... The main question I wanted to ask you, have you lost your core values, your, your, the way your parents raised you? Have you lost that value? No, of course not. So oh. you, you're still the same person? I'm still the same person. Okay, babe. So another question that I have for you. Do you find that you, you're westernized? Do you feel that you're westernized? Nice. Do you um, think that you are an American woman and not no, a Filipino no, no, woman no, no more? No, 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 no. I'm joking. No. No, I'm still a real Filipino. Still a real Filipino, right? Yes. So for all the years that you hear, you still consider yourself to be a Filipino with the same core values? Of course. Okay. Also, now, how do you feel now that you're here, being a very independent woman away from me, you know, let's let's just say that out there making your own money, knowing that if um, you know, you and I are not together or something happened to me, that you're still able to take care of yourself 
and your baby. How, how do you feel about that? Do you think that if you were in the Philippines right now as a registered nurse, mm -hmm. that you would have the option to live the type of lifestyle that you live in here, right? I don't know. It's difficult. It's hard if I am if I was to, if I'm still in the Philippines with that situation with the, if that situation if uh, in that kind of situation. So you're saying that in other in other words, then the changes that you made from there to here that's one good change. Yes. That's good. Of you know that's yes. very good. Now, do you find? Do you still do some of the things that you, you used to do in the Philippines? And I'm not going to say, when we eat sometimes with these... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know you don't like that, but it's, it's comfort and it, we're used to it. <laughs> okay, I understand. Now, you know, I, 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 I'm just asking her the key points here, guys. Um, because, you know, a lot of guys, when I hear a lot of guys say things you know especially guys on the youtube channel that live in the philippines you know that claim to want to give a lot of guys advice on what they should do in their relationship about not bringing their female here to america because they're going to be too westernized and they're going to change now do you find yourself to be that same sweet loving sexy woman that, that, I, that i first met a few years ago when we were at least 20 pounds lighter <laughs> Yes, I am still I don't think I change in that way. So There's no changes change in that way. way. Yeah, it's not changes in that way. Okay. Is the only change maybe when it comes to personality is I'm not that soft anymore. And that's a plus and I don't want you to be. Because mm -hmm. you know, I think I had a lot of conversation with you about that, you know. Keep your guards up. You know, yeah. be aware of things around you, be aware of people, you know. And I must say, I'm kind of proud to know that I helped you to develop that street smart because, you know, you can be intelligent, but at the same time, if you don't have street smart, then I don't think that's good. So is there any anything else that you have changed in your life since you came here to America that you wish if you had kept or you're glad no, no, how glad. everything turned out to be? I'm glad how everything turned out to be. Okay, yeah. so in other words, it's a good change. Exactly, like it's a grow, and and that's it, you know. And and like I said earlier, you know, in the video with my little rant, I think a lot of guys who feel the way they feel about not wanting to bring their female or their wives or girlfriends to America is that I don't think these guys are confident in themselves. I'm just going to really say it like that. <laughs> I know a lot of fellas here. Who bring their wives from the Philippines and are living a wonderful life for 30, 40 years, you know, and that woman is still the same woman, you know, that they met back home in the Philippines where they're from. So, you know, I think what a lot of you guys should do, man, instead of listening to someone else's advice, you should take it upon your own, bring your wife here for a little bit. See how she like it. See how she she's adjusting to the American lifestyle. And I can tell you this. You know, if you bring a woman here to America and, and she's not been loyal to you, then in the first place, she never was going to be loyal to you. So, you know, that's just my opinion there, you know. But and any other thing you want to add to this, baby love? Uh, not, nothing really. Um, I don't know. Being afraid of bringing a Filipina here, it's not like it's the America that will change them of being developed as a Westernized or being bad. It's already in them. Exactly. So, you know, I'm just saying, mm -hmm. you know, do your own thing, fellas. I, I, I know it's okay to listen to other people and take advice from other people. I'm, I'm not an advisor. I don't know nothing about the Philippines. I don't know much about what's happening in the Philippines. I can't say I'm boots on the ground because I'm not there. I can speak for me here in America with my beautiful Filipino wife and how she is. And I can tell you, all I see is a lot of plus, 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 plus with her. You know, she had grown tremendously. She's an amazing woman. For example, the reason why, you know, we said earlier when I was pushing my wife and I, I, I told her, I said, listen, one day something is going to happen 
And you're going to have to be able to know that you can stand on your own two feet and take care of yourself and your family. There wasn't a baby in the picture yet, but now she's able to do all of those things on her own. You know, COVID came around. I wasn't able to work for months. Not saying that she was taking care of me financially, but that was just one income that was lost for a few months. She was able to go on out there and do the things that she needed to do for herself and, and all of us, you know, including her family. So don't be afraid to bring your women here. Don't be afraid to let them advance. It's an advantage to you to have that woman advance herself or her career in life. So not saying you shouldn't take other people's advice, but please don't be scared about bringing your lovely lady here. And another thing before I end this video, man, I really do got to apologize. You know, my daughter, she's one of these little girls. If me and her mom's doing something, she always have to be in the middle of it. So in us for, to keep her quiet, you know, we do have to put on her favorite little cartoons. So if you're hearing this stuff in the background, you know, that's our daughter listening to what she's listening to. But that's just a little touch upon um, video here we wanted to make to let you guys know, you know, people do change no matter where you go in the world. But the changes that you're thinking, it's not always the changes that is bad. It's always good. Anything yeah. else you want to say on top of that, baby love? Nothing. That's it, ma'am. Anyway, we're going to end this video here. And as always, you guys, peace on out, man. Peace on out. Thanks for subscribing. You know, sorry for the, the, the background noise and stuff. Yeah. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Just a little short clip of us just showing you, you know, the changes that was made in life by my wife. It's all Your positive. Changes. Exactly. She's still sweet. She's still lovely. And she's still sexy. All right. All right, man. Peace on out, people. Peace on out.